Hello, hello, more dimmers here and welcome to the game I was waiting for because a couple of days ago I showed you the game where Komodo just smashed the stockfish and I was thinking, okay, this line, this sideline is just bad for black. So this time we're gonna see stockfish uh, who's gonna play as white and Komodo is forced to defend the position in quite a shaky line. So without further ado, let's see what happened on the board. Uh, first eight moves, of course, are pre arranged so we have e4, c5, knight f3, Sicilian defense, d6, d4, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, knight f6 with the attack on the pawn, knight c3, a6, knight or variation, we have bishop e3, e6, and now f3, b5, queen d2, and now the move which was played in this variation in both of the games is queen c7. Normally, instead of queen c7, bishop b7 on, or knight b to d7 uh, should be played. However, together with queen c7, knight b to d7 shouldn't be played. That is the problem. And in this game, actually, we will see why. We will see why. Because I was telling you what can happen. That, for example, the knights can be uh, sacrificed um, on b5 and then the, the, the pawn on d6 can be taken. But in this game, we will see exactly how that happened. So uh, we have castle, the same move was played by Stockfish and by Komodo and now we have bishop b7. Just a reminder, the Stockfish uh, went for, um, for the knight from f to d7 uh, and now we have g4. So g5 is coming and instead of playing an h6 move also we have knight f to d7. So very similar but now we have g5 and this is a huge difference because this knight cannot go back to f6. This is what Stockfish did in the, in the game I just mentioned. However, uh, it was not enough to draw or win the game by Stockfish. So, uh, as you see, very, very difficult position. We have knight b6 by Komodo. So, this knight would love to go to c4. For now, c4 is actually uh, defended by the bishop. So, black could play that, you know, exchange uh, the knight for the bishop, but it, they achieve nothing with that. We have a3, so b4 is not possible now. Uh, and now, the move I was telling you, this knight from the a rank goes to d7 uh, and now finally we are gonna see what gonna happen with this move so we have the sacrifice of the knight by stockfish I'm pretty much excited about that because I was just talking about this variation. I've never seen that, you know, in the game. So A takes on B5, Knight takes on B5 with the attack on the Queen. This is why this is so dangerous when you play Queen C7 and this Knight is on D7. With Knight C6, actually, Black would have some uh, some counterplay, but this is not so easy now. So we have Queen C6 and now Knight D6. And after exchanging everything, this this is the position we get. So we have knight c8, kicking the, the rook, rook goes back to d4, and now knight e7, so developing the knights. What just happened? What just happened? That's the question. White has three very dangerous uh, past pawns, connected past pawns, and uh, black has the knight for that. OK, uh, so only the minor piece for these three pieces. It looks like, you know, it's a uh, it's equal position. However, it's very difficult to play that actually as black, especially that white have the pair of bishops. So we have bishop e2 making a space for the rook, knight e5 and now rook h to d1. So the rooks are double. Uh, black castle and now we have rook b4 harassing the bishop, bishop c6 rook d6 now and rook f to c8 with the idea of bringing the bishop to h4 and attack concentrate on c2 it looks like pretty much dangerous uh, but now we have f4 so black has to react somehow we have a knight from the fifth rank to g6 and now rook c4 so maybe not pinning this bishop as the as the rook is defended but definitely uh, this rook defending also c2 uh, and now we have knight h4 just anticipating that that you know this pawn gonna be pushed so definitely f5 is coming but stockfish plays f5 anyway and look at this this is very very interesting maneuver so we have f5 
Uh, of course, e takes on f5, and now white doesn't take the pawn, doesn't take the pawn, because if pawn is taken, this knight can actually very comfortable land on f5, uh, with the attack on the rook, on the bishop, and uh, white would be forced to exchange um, the pair of bishops, for example, rook d3, then bishop b5, it already looks like pretty much bad, but okay, uh, rook c8, rook c8, uh, rook d2, just to defend this bishop, this bishop was uh, is, is still attacking the bishop on b5, so this bishop cannot be really taken, so rather bishop e2, rook e2, and the game can continue, however, this pair of knights should be able actually to stop this um, disconnected passed pawns, so uh, this actually is estimated as better position for black, so not e takes on f5 but first play very important bishop f2 attacking this knight and this knight cannot go to f5 because there is the own pawn so we have knight g2 and only now e takes on f5 and now uh, komodo continue the plan so we have bishop a4 with the potential attack on c2 for now the rook stays on c4 so it's not possible but uh, we have rook d2 giving extra defense to c2 we have rook c4 bishop c4 and now bishop goes to c6 why because this bishop can always come to this diagonal and win the piece so this is why the, the bishop has to has to retreat. We have rook d6, again harassing the bishop. Uh, for now it's not possible to take it, however f6 for example can be played and if the knight moves then the bishop is lost. So bishop e8 and now rook d2. Uh, and there is of course another threat with the bishop um, on c5. There is another threat attacking the, the knight and also attacking um, this knight. So bishop goes back to c6 now protecting this knight as well uh, and of course uh, stockfish could go um, again for some threefold repetition but now stockfish uh, attacks on the queen side b4 and now the question is of course f6 could be played just to protect this pawn however Stockfish thinks, okay, these pawns are much more uh, dangerous than, you know, one pawn on my king side. It doesn't really matter. Uh, and now the point is that this pawn cannot be taken because we have a, a weakness on the 8th rank. So that would be the checkmate. So it's not even possible. This is why we have knight f5 winning this pawn and now a4. For the same reason, rook cannot take it because we would have a checkmate. Uh, also, bishop cannot take it because now bishop d5 stays um, on this diagonal and uh, wins the piece. So that's not also possible. So first, make some window some luft for the for the king but how to do that if you play something like h6 of course you have g6 with the attack on this pawn this pawn is pinned so it's not even possible so this is why g6 was played by komodo uh, and now we have b5 and now how to continue your bishop is under attack what would you do as black it's a very tricky uh, situation if you move the bishop then of course you're gonna lose the piece this or this your choice and if you stay uh, then there is also a problem rook d7 and very strong attack on the position of the king uh, black of course can pick up the pawn now because there is no checkmate g7 is free but now we have bishop f7 with check king h8 and now white could actually find a very interesting way to uh, to checkmate opponent or at least you know stack all the pieces in the defense so bishop b6 with the idea of delivering a checkmate this way very very interesting so knight f4 would have to be played and after bishop d8 knight can go to h5 uh, and now this uh, square of course is defended also this square is defended uh, so let's say bishop c7 coming this way uh, rook e4 now can defend the, the the e5 square but then bishop a5 so this bishop can somehow find the way to get to this diagonal rook e3 stopping that but now bishop d2 and now rook just has to move if rook stays on the third rank the problem is king b2 and the rook has to be moved and once the rook is moved then of course bishop c3 with check uh, knight can uh, go to g7 the problem is both of the knights now defend 
and they have to stay there in the uh, to, to defend and of course after bishop e5 this bishop controls b8 so this pawn gonna just simply win the game so black would have to sacrifice the bishop for for the pawn but white still have another pawn and gonna win the game so this is why komodo was forced actually to win these pawns with the rook actually with the exchange so it looks like pretty good deal because after rook a4 bishop is under attack so bishop b3 and then bishop b5 bishop a4 bishop a4 and what do we have here two pieces for the rook it looks like pretty good good deal uh, for komodo so what happened what happened stockfish is gonna lose that game Actually, pause the video right now and find the best continuation for white and try to estimate is winning, is drawing or maybe it's not enough and it's just losing. But uh, this is very nice continuation, not very difficult, but definitely you, you have to, you know, uh, take a look at the position while I enjoy my cup of tea. Okay, ready? So the only winning move, this is winning move for white, and there is only one way, is actually bishop c5. Bishop c5 with the attack on the knight, and the knight cannot move. You know why? Because if knight moves, we have the checkmate. Rook d8, king g7, look at this, boom. And this is, of course, a checkmate. So that's not even possible. This is why this knight has to be lost. We have h6 by Komodo, making a space for the, for the king now. And of course, rook g2. We have bishop c6, harassing the rook. Rook g4, h takes on g5, rook g5. And now king g7. So bringing the king to the center. We have rook g4, king f6. And now king d2. So white also bring the king. We have king e6. Now going on the way of this pawn, as this is still past pawn. Very, very dangerous. Uh, and of course we have c4, bishop b7. Uh, and now rook g1. So white wants to find find the way for the rook to actually infiltrate the position. We have bishop f3, king c3, and now king d7. We have rook e1, uh, and now king c6. Uh, king b4 now, defending the, the bishop, king c7, bishop e3, king c6, bishop f4, king d7, bishop g5, king c6, and now rook a1, with the idea of bringing the rook uh, and win the pawn. Once this pawn is win, black doesn't have any counterplay. So we have king b6, now defending a7, but now bishop d8, kicking the, the, the king. So king has the choice, king c8, but then the rook can come to the 7th rank. So king b7, and now king c5. So that's the problem. Black cannot defend all the threats. We have bishop g4 now and now bishop f6. Uh, and here knight h6. We have bishop e5, bishop f3 and now bishop g7 attacking the knight. So knight goes back to f5 and now rook a3 uh, asking to exchange the bishops. Of course if the bishop is taken then another as well. So we have bishop e2 and now bishop f6 bishop f1 and rook a2 bishop h3 rook d2 so now stockfish want to infiltrate this way goes to d7 and now if king c7 the problem is bishop e5 with check and now if the king still want to stay uh you know close to this squares and play something like king c8 then we're gonna have king c6 and now we have already some mating ideas black have to be very very careful definitely this pawn uh gonna win at least one of the pieces Black would have to, you know, sacrifice, give up one of the pieces for this, uh, for this pawn. And of course, that's going to be uh, winning for white. So this doesn't work. This is why we have knight h6. However, this doesn't work as well. Because now simply bishop g5, the knight is under attack. And now if the knight goes to g8... Uh, then we would have rook d8 and the knight is under attack 
uh, and there is no way to escape so only way would be f6 and after rook g8 f takes on g5 rook g6 and of course white gonna easily win that king d6 and this pawn gonna win the game there is no way that this pawn can be any counterplay because white pawn is on the dark square so it cannot even be attacked so definitely um, that's the problem knight g8 is unplayable so komodo play knight g4 and in the same moment resign so after moving resign now the point is after rook d7 this pawn is lost and black not gonna have any counterplay so for example king c8 winning the pawn and um, black can try to you know deliver some some harassment to the rook to the bishop but it doesn't really matter rook e7 knight f3 now the bishop can actually be remaneuvered to g3 uh, this is the most solid way and this pawn never gonna achieve anything and black are forced to actually exchange one of the pieces for the for this pawn so of course it's completely winning for white this is why after knight g4 Komodo resigned. So Stockfish got the revenge in this shaky line. And as you see, after Queen C7, it's very difficult to play. It's actually lost position. Both of the engines couldn't uh, couldn't even draw. So Komodo won against Stockfish. Stockfish won against Komodo. Uh, and this time we saw this Knight B to D7 together with Queen C7, C7, how it can end up. So I'm very happy actually to see that line. And if you like this video, press like. If you don't like for some reason, press unlike. And if you want to see more content on my channel, press subscribe, smash the bell button. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.